In this lesson, I want to show you how to enable the recapture or the capture form. You know, this is when it makes it a little bit more much, much harder for people to be able to create fake accounts or for robots to, you know, spam your website. So you want to go to where it says enable capture. This is from the configuration and you want to click on yes and then you click save and close. Next, you want to go to extensions to the plugin manager. We're going to be using the system capture for this. So you just put in, type it in, capture. And then you want to click on here. So we're going to enable this. So right now we're saying we don't have the public key or the private key for this. So you just want to click on enable. Now you have this link here. You don't want to click on this. Well, this link right now, Google has to, you know, still working on it. It's under coming soon. So you can just go to Google and just type in recapture and it's going to pull this information up here. So you click on it. All right. So this is what it looks like. So what you want to do is you must have an account with Google first in order for you to be able to do this. So you click on get recapture. And then it's going to show you all the sites. If you have sites there, you can, you know, it's going to show up there. If not, you can always just register a new site here, new site. And then you put in your domain.com. And then if you want to get alert, you know, about this site, you can do that. I don't want to do that. And this is just some new changes that Google made. So you click register. Okay, so once you're registered now, you have here a bunch of stuff. And I know this just looks like, what in the world? What am I going to do with this? Well, you don't have to worry so much about all this hair. The two things that you do need, however, are these the site key and the secret key. So you want to copy this hair. And this is going to go under public. And you want to copy the secret hair. And this is go under private. And then you have the option for the theme here. Just just leave it as clean. And then you click save and close. Now, this here is just some generic stuff that I'm using and really doesn't have any relevance. Um, but you want to make sure that you don't share this information with other people. So it's very important that you don't share this with with, you know, just anyone. So once you've put that there, you want to go to system global configuration so we've we've enabled the capture through the component we've told the joomla plugin system that we want to use that now we need to go over to the global configuration and where it says default capture we want to click on capture here and then you want to click save and close and the last thing that you want to do is you want to go to users user manager and you want to click on options and where it says capture, you want to use the default here, which is the capture recapture. And what this is going to do is this is going to use the capture that, you know, it's been set up and you also want to make sure that you allow registration and then you just save and close. So now when you come on the front end and someone is ready to register, they're going to get this here. They would have to enter the security code uh, and then proceed you know from there on you know once again this really helps with you know securing your site so just follow those steps and you can be able to utilize this capture there and it's going to save you you know a bunch of you know headache